Okay, so 19th of February, Sunday 19th of February at 5.30 and um, been wondering uh, most on and off throughout the day. Uh, I was going to do my video on my Bible study when I got around to it, when I got back from church. Um, and since I got back from church, I've been... Uh, looking at all the different things that really need to happen and because I did eight hours of Bible study yesterday I thought I'll do my Bible study um, later this afternoon because I can do it under electricity um, um, and I can do the all the notes that I took that I wanted to pass on I could do later so I thought I'll get on to all the chores that need to be done and the main one that was very important was watering my garden of number two station so number two station is this one um and it hasn't been working for about um it hasn't been working for about a, a, what two weeks it stopped working and i was just doing a really light water and then today i took over an hour but this little for example this little beautiful tree was really you could see she was starting to you could see she was starting to die. So she's had a really deep water. Yeah, so she was actually starting to die. So this whole number two station, but this is on this side of it, all out the front. I have them started yet, so I'm gonna wait till it gets cooler. But all of my little number two stations, you can see everything in here is, um, yeah. Like it's all just from a week and a half. Oh, just from a week and a half of the retick, number two not working and me not giving it a deep water. We've had some hot days though, um, so I thought I really need to get on to... Uh, I just went, no, that's priority. So I spent over an hour watering that because a deep water means like one, one and a half, two minutes per plant. Um, so basically all along here... You can see this one's dying as well, this poor little darling. It's quite sad when plants struggle like this. These ones are doing okay. I think it's because uh, these, are, these are these amazing plants. They're called, um, it, uh, I haven't learned about them, uh, Urethmophilia, Arethmophilias, they're amazing. Um, so yeah, number two station, but not out the front. That I'm going to have to do when it cools down a bit because it's still really hot out the front. But what I really wanted to show you guys was the abundance of my grapies. Aren't they amazing? And look at them all. Oh, hang on, I'll pull this one off. Oh, with one hand, it's a little bit hard, sorry. Oh, I don't want to hurt that. Oh. Now these grapes are so yummy. Oh, they're amazing, they're so yummy. Look how many I have. Isn't that beautiful? This is a really, really old grapevine here. I'd say it's at least 50 years old. I built this garden bed around it because before, you could see that before it was just a, um, it was just a sloping ground, it just sloped down, there was rocks everywhere. And um, the, the, the grapes like this last summer weren't like this. So I'd say that's because I've put the garden bed around it and filled it up with soil. Because that was just on a sharp angle and just red rock. Just red rock and really hard. So, grapes, yum, yum, yum. Um, there's one thing I want to share. Because I just think that's beautiful. The purple and the green is beautiful. And um, just the abundance of being freshly grown fruit is like like that's just a seed there's nothing that compares to pulling picking your own fruit on vegetables and eating it it's ollie having a little rest it's hot here so basically this is also part of number two station i watered all that and i watered all my my orchard trees these aren't on a retic system yet um my poor, 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 poor fig tree is not at all happy. <sighs> but, um, like I watered that an hour ago, all right, or about 30 minutes ago, and already the ground's hot. 
I had the reach it going for that station number five to cool everything down. And um, something, something on my back. Um, yeah, so even though I had the retick number five on, I can't see. Is that like famous retick? Is it that? Is it that dry? Yeah, it's really hard growing plants in northern. I think it is on this one. Alright, look at that grevillea. So sad. Breaks my heart when they don't survive, but this one is okay. So yeah, that's that done. And um, I know I had to hand water all these beautiful plants up here, which are just not even on the retic system at all. So what's the point of this video? Um, yeah, I've committed to doing this instead of the Bible study thing because it was like you can see things are dying. This is it. Just so this is a mandarin tree up here. That's completely. Uh, it's okay. I gave it a good water today. Um, over here, this is on the old retic system, which got shut down. So I watered all these pots. I don't know if you can see. Uh, so I watered these in, so they should be all right. Because you can see the diosomers. Um, you can even see the, um, gosh, the plumbago. Look at the plumbago. The plumbago's even dying. Quite alarming, really. Uh, I nearly lost... This one, but I got it just in time and it's growing again. But yeah, so this is a this is a garden bed that I'm just going to work on in about a year. Uh, and this will be the dog area, and I'm going to um, I've got to do um, another two retic lines, and this one's one of them because it's not on the retic line at the moment. So I had to hand water my hebe which is struggling, they're all struggling, everything's struggling, but I'm going to um, hand water, sorry, hand water that to get through this summer, and then, and then um, eventually I'll get another retic, two lines, re two, two new retic lines going up, um, and then I'll plant all of that out with really hardy plants, and that's the bit that will be on the outside of the fence where, that the dogs will have access to. Because you, I've shown you this garden bed, haven't I? That they was a beautiful garden bed. <laughs> this was a beautiful garden. Was, what, three weeks ago? You can see that there's just bloody ripped up um, plant everywhere. They've just demolished it. You can see the big holes. They've just completely, like the grevillea tree, you can see how many branches they've broken up. And, um, yep, look at it all. See, oh, see this here? Yeah, they've just completely ripped it up, destroyed it. Holes, 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 holes. That was full of, there was a big uh, geranium here that was like about this high, really high and beautiful. There was uh, a big bush here. It's, it's just heartbreaking, their destruction, hey? Heartbreaking, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. But I'm going to probably turn that into a pond. Now that the now that the uh, plants have been all, most of them have been killed, get out of the garden. Even though you've killed it, get out. So basically, yeah, I'm going to reformat that into something. Um, yep, reform all, reformat all that into something else. I know six eight months. And it's just so not priority at the moment. Hey, chook chook pen. I've also. Realise I've put on hold for a little while and realise it's not priority, it will happen. It's about patience, you see. It's about working with each day. If I just do at least one thing, I'm okay. This garden bed up here that I made last year is absolutely gets no watering. But I'm going to... Yeah, even my bougainvillea has died. But it's okay. <sighs> There's all these wasps. That's the garden shed that's got to get put up. Over into that corner over there. I was really hoping to get help with that, with the Fresh Start crew. But apparently it's a skilled job to put up a shed. So 
<sighs> Even though I've never done it before, I'm going to have to do it. Um, with um, Probably with Brad and hopefully I can get one other person to help us out. Or I don't know why Fresh Start can't train them to put things like garnishes up. I've shown you this, this is my compost and worm farm and all the garden bed areas and that's all going to wait. Wait, 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 wait for at least. I don't know how long. They're all dreams. They're all things I was working on with Glee getting in action that have just all gone on to a bit of a standstill. And I've just sort of look at this corner of the yard and I sort of go, it'll get there eventually because right now, like, I'm also going to reformat, as I said, and turn this area into a big dog playground because it's the only way. I think it's the only way it's going to work. Me loving gardens and me having two big dogs because... It's just unbelievable, like, you know, like, the previous owners had that looking so nice, and then I added to it. That was a, a really established garden, probably 25 years' worth of establishment. It was a beautiful garden. And then I added some extra, about 20 extra plants, and it was looking really nice. It was like a piece of art. Like, I looked at it, it gave me so much joy. I couldn't believe it when I found that destroyed and I thought oh, I've got to work with the fly. I'm not going to plant anything there for a while just accept it now this is the a new cushion got destroyed today because <sighs> today I left them outside um, I wouldn't let them inside when I was at church um, because they destroyed my husband's mother's my, my husband's deceased mother's uh, leather ch chairs they're from from you know, the 50s or something, so there was two of them, and yeah, they destroyed one of the seats, and I'm like, no, nope, you guys, you're not allowed inside now when I'm not home, and the worst thing is, I used to leave it with the air con, we used to leave the back door open, and we used to leave the air con on so that they had access to uh, the coolness on a hot day, and um, now they don't get access to coolness when I'm not home. So they just stuffed it up. And this, this, this day bed here, they're not allowed here when I'm not here because uh, they destroyed, you can't see, they've actually destroyed the doona cover. I've had to um, fold it around and hide it and stuff so that, um, so, yep, they're not allowed on here unless I'm here supervising. They're not allowed in the house now unless I'm supervising. They're not allowed in the bloody garden when I put that fence up unless I'm here supervising. They're actually just losing more and more privileges the more things they destroy, hey. But anyways, point of this video, the grapeies, I really wanted to show you the grapes because I thought that green and that blue next to each other was so stunning. I wanted to talk briefly about, you know, come home from church and I just really wanted to gung-ho the Bible study. I learned so much again at church today. And I really, really, really wanted to gung-ho the Bible study and um, gung-ho the Bible study and get onto that the my the video that I'm teaching, going through that what I've learned with Ecclesiastics and Job and everything. And then I went, no, I've really got to get onto chores the most important chore is dealing with that garden bed number two that's not hasn't had any proper water for a while and um and then discovered that so many of the plants are already nearly dead if i might have got them just in time and out the front i've got a that's huge out the front that's where all the roses are and everything that, that number two station was probably one of the most important stations I'll show you. It's really important station because um, it, it gets all the uh, boiling hot. Um, and I don't know what's going on because what actually look at this. This is the remote for the blinds. What I don't know, what, what I don't understand is um, I just put it onto number two and then I lift it up. They're really incredible. What I don't understand with um with the with the um um. The number two, the, the retic is the the retic, the, the water's going through and the sound's going through and the time is going down, but no water's coming through the actual sprinklers. It's, I don't get it. But that's number two um, garden bed down there. 
right? Uh, so it goes from along there, along that, uh, just so you've got your bearings, might as well do it proper. Okay, so this is number three blind going up. So basically, basically look at Alvin and Zena. They're so cute, aren't they? But so number two station goes along there, along that fence line, along there, along there, and then Brad and I dug a big hole through that fence. It was quite hard work. <laughs> And then, um, no, and then that garden bed out there, and then the garden, the bed that I made in front. So number two cops the heat. It's like really, it's a really, really hot bed, and it urgently needs water, and that takes a long time to water. But it doesn't matter because at least it's only one station that's out. But that took that was I had to make that more important than Bible study. And then this is station number four going. This is my beautiful front garden bed, number four. That's all really happy. Happy, happy, happy. Um, I'll, I'll do a tour of the garden um, eventually because oh, um, I've been here 15 months and I have planted so many plants. I've planted hundreds and hundreds of plants. I've lost about 15 <laughs> And there's some out there that look like they, there's, I pray for them, I touch them and pray for them. I'm pretty sure they're going to survive because I think the fact that I gave them that deep water today and I water them again tomorrow, every day now I'm going to water that number two line. What I'm thinking, right, is that God directed me because I'm not going, please, what is the most important thing to do? Because, see, everywhere I look, there's something that needs to be done. Um, and so it's like, oh, that won't take long. Just get on top of that. Rah, 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 do that, do this. Rah, rah, that will fix that. Rah, rah. And then I go, ah. Oh. And then I go, where do I fit in folding the washing? Where do I fit in vacuuming the floor? Where do I fit in? I have to turn it off at the mains. Otherwise, it keeps leaking. Number four, le um, uh, number four shouldn't have been on. I noticed number four was on, and that's just because the solenoids out. And so number four runs when all the stations are running, and that shouldn't happen, but it is. So number four and number three won't turn off. Number two now won't work. But getting there, and at least it's a temporary thing to get me through. Summer, this summer, and then next year is a whole nother story. And then I also turn it off here just to make really sure that I'm not using any water where it shouldn't be. So... Yeah, when I was trying to work out what was priority, because obviously, look at this mess. I had this all nice the other day, and another ripped cushion. It looks terrible. Um, I've got the paving. I've got all this sand here and some sand out the back to do, to finish off this paving out here. Like, this just needs concrete. I've already got the pavers for that. They fell off it. That was on cement, but it doesn't work, so that, I need to put concrete under that. And the, and the papers, and that, that's like a, what, a 15 minute job, 15 to 20 minute job, boom, done. It's already leveled, it just needs me to mix up the concrete, boof, like, but it's like, it's not actually a priority, even though it only took me 15 minutes. When um, Brad and I did the retick in um, early December, we, we did a channel going through down there and through here and through here and out the front. That's channel. Um, one that's 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 station one. So I put some of the pavers back. That all got dug out. I put some of the pavers back in, but you can see they're uneven. So I've got to pull them back out. Put some more sand in, which is just here. It's just here. Just go lift those bricks up again. Put the sand down. Put the sand down here, and this blade pathway's finished. Is that, that, that's that's like a a fifty minute job. Fifty one hour minute job. One hour, one hour, minute. <laughs> but it's not priority. You see, it's not priority. So I had to let that go. What was priority was watering number two. And let's pray, everyone, for any of you watching my videos and care about plants. This one here was really happy, and now it's really dry. Yeah, that's like that's really, really heartbreaking. And they really. 
It's just really heartbreaking. But let's just pray that the roots are okay. Uh, my kangaroo paw has gone, I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure that kangaroo paw has gone. I was just sad because that was looking really good. That, that breaks my heart too. No, get out of the garden. That breaks my heart. You can have that though. Yeah, that really breaks my heart The when I lose plants. Oh, so point of video, point of video, point of video. Today, Sunday, I got to church. Excellent. Um, and I'm going to get some more of these. I reckon the rats might get these if I don't get them soon. I might just put some in the... Isn't that amazing, hey? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, that's that's a lot of grapes, So hey? Feel blessed. Oh, and the lemon tree. This lemon tree. I can't wait. See, this is my orchard. My, oh, oh, just sorry, that was my vertigo that kicked in <laughs> I've had vertigo all day but look look at this look at the can you see the little baby lemons all the little baby lemons so many, so many lemons give me so many lemons and there's my apple tree my pecan tree my guava tree figs not doing so good um I can't remember what that I can't remember what that one is but I think it's a and that's a pomegranate down there that big one Oh, so exciting. And then up here I've got a, a lemon and a mandarin. Um, I had a heap of uh, tomatoes, but they died on me. Um, and I've got some all these little babies in here to go on the ground. But at the moment I've just got them in their pot of soil, watering them every day just to keep them. I, I'm not going to put them in the ground until I think I'm going to wait until the heat has subsided because we've got some really hot days coming up and then I uh, can't wait I love gardening hey I love gardening it's my absolute passion what I'm doing inside now and I'll show you I'll end the video on this um might do the other video when I do the studying later tonight or tomorrow but uh today so I've done the watering which is really important and got my potential dinner not sure that yogurt and chia seeds could be and a banana banana grapes chia seeds and natural yogurt is probably going to be my dinner <laughs> and i'm gonna um sand i think i'm either gonna sand the kitchen Sand the plaster. I'll sand the plaster back. Put the first coat of paint on. See if I can get away with not putting any more plaster on there because I made the decision to buy a paint stripper, not plaster. And now, you know, my money's gone. I've got no money for about five days, but that's fine because I've got dog food and some petrol in the car. So I'm going to sand this back and see what it looks like painted because it's going to be probably built-ins put over that anyway, so I don't want to be a perfectionist over it. And I'm going to take the dogs for their walk in the morning, I've decided. Because I really want to get something done in this house. And I'll sand that back slightly and put that green coat on. That is success, a success. Yeah, I think that's going to be successful. So I'm just showing it to you because it's hard sometimes, guys. Like, each day just sort of disappears. That's where I wanted to be to do my Bible study. But, um, but, what in the garden is more important. And I've got a feeling, just moving forward with these two rooms, and the, I can do the Bible study first thing in the morning at 5.30 or 6.30 or... And I know the dogs really want me to take them for a walk, okay? So, you never know. She's just jumped in the pond. She's completely wet. 
I was going to show their pond actually out the back, but um, and now she's shaking everywhere. Okay, you, Zena, outside, you're wet. Outside, outside, you're wet. Quick, quick, outside. This house is so out. This house is so messy. See the wet, wet footprints. This house is so messy with two dogs, with their mud and their, <laughs> their mud and their. Yeah. Oh, it was so devastating, I tell you. Coming home from church to... Oh, look at that. Rolling on the bloody white couch. Yeehaw! Woohoo, yeah! I pulled those other cushions up. I was so mad that they destroyed. There's only one left now, so... This was... This one here that's been ruined. There was, uh... There was three of these. Got them from Gumtree. And now there's only one left. Unbelievable, hey, I, was, I, couldn't, I just felt so mad. I felt like even taking that couch away from them so they had nothing soft. And I feel like not even having them in the house at night. And I thought, nah, can't do that. <laughs> it's really terrible. You can't really be angry with dogs for too long because, one, they're pups. And, but, gee, I wish they didn't do so much destruction, hey. Like, I found a pair of my clothes outside. And this morning I found, found some clothes on <laughs> the lounge room floor and... Today I found a pair of pants outside and um, yesterday I have a pair of undies. I found a pair of undies outside all ripped up. So, so now I'm shutting my door all the time because if I don't shut my door, like this is my uh, washing pile and they bloody pull things out of my washing. So this is the actual uh, folding, some of the folding, just some of the folding. Got this folding here and this folding here. <laughs> And I was going to go, this is from the op shop. I do op shop duty, right? On Friday. Look what I've got. Isn't this, isn't this nice? I think it's going to be nice. Yeah, I get a staff discount, so that cost me a dollar. And uh, she gave me the tea towels. They're nice. Anyways, um, another work shirt. I'm not don't really think I need and this is a mid 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 weather dress I can't wait to wear this when the weather cools down I think that's going to be really nice that's a dollar for me because I'm doing op shop duty that's not why I decided to do it don't help I do op shop duty on Friday uh, with the lady uh, who actually sold my husband and I this house she's the most beautiful woman she's like Claire Bear Mother Bear I, I when I first met her I said oh you're like a Claire Bear, and she, she goes, Claire Bear, she goes, oh, you can call me Claire Bear. I said, Claire Bear, Mother Bear. She goes, yes, you can call me Claire Bear, Mother Bear. And she's so beautiful, and we've got such a good friendship. And um, I'm now working with her on Friday, so I have her mentorship because she's in her 70s. I have a mentorship, um, and I'm helping her out because I'm strong, and I'm really good with organising with colours and sizing, and I'm... She's so happy to have me there because everyone else is a bit old and not really that uh, physically able. And I'm strong, and, but really fast and really good at organising. And, and then I, every now and again I see something I really like. <laughs> but okay, yeah. And then my motto is um, if I get stuff I really like, well, then I like go the stuff I have that I only half like. So it doesn't worry me. If I get something I really like... And remember, I'm getting it for a dollar, okay? So if I have to return it, the stuff I'm getting, I'm not going to return, but if something at home that I've maybe had for a long time or someone else gave to me, it was good enough for that time, but then it's not quite me anymore. Or... Plus, I used to be size, I used to be a lot smaller. Actually, in my pre-menopause years, put, put weight on. So my what I can wear is, has changed my style's changing and also I don't go out anymore I don't actually party or dance or just work most of the time and I'm more casual now so yeah the style's changing I live in a country town now and you know things are different and yeah that was a bit of a segue wasn't it but yeah that's what that box was in there for uh shopping 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 anyways good old northern Good old northern, hey? And this, this area here is my little relaxer. It's one area in the house that's organised enough. It, oh, no, you're wet. Get off. Get off. You're wet. Get off. Oh, yuck. Look, see what she did? No. I don't want them on here when they're wet. I'm sick of it. No. 
You can only be on here when you're dry. No, nope, that's a boundary I'm putting in place now. No, you're too dirty. You're dirty. Look, 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 look at her face. Look at her face. She goes, oh. Yeah, but you're dirty. You're dirty and you're wet. She's dirty and she's wet. And she stinks too. It's interesting how dogs stink, isn't it? I don't want them out here when they're wet. Out, come on, out, move. I'm getting some boundaries in place because I just want at least one area that's nice, you know? One area. I'm shutting the door. I've decided that they're not allowed in that area unless I'm out there. Which is annoying because there's a cool breeze that comes through that door. But so be it, so be it, so be it. And anyways, as I get older, things will change. No, I think the wetness and the dirtiness will never change. <laughs> Let's be honest about that. Dogs are dirty and dogs make your house dirty. Ah, out of my bedroom. He will keep Blake trying to get on my bed. It really annoys me. And that's why, another thing, I've got to keep this door shut. I have to keep my bedroom door shut as well. Or they get on my bed, which is really annoying. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. Uh, lots of love. If I post this video, it'll be about go with the flow. Trust the process of time. I have, by the end of today, I will have achieved enough. It's been a worthwhile enough day. And learning, learning, you know, things like when you go for walks, when you go to church, when you're Bible studying, if you're spending quality time with a friend, if you're spending a decent time watering your garden, keeping your garden alive, these are worthwhile pursuits. Um, and now I am going to get onto some chores, which I don't want to do. And then I will go, okay, well, there you go. I can then go to bed going, it was a, I did it, got enough done. Um, the dogs are not going to like that they're not having a walk today, but I will give them a walk uh, first thing in the morning. It'll be cooler. We'll just go out first thing in the morning. I'm, um, I don't want to go out tonight. I just want to get some chores done. I, I don't like how long things are taking. I want to get this kitchen like a kitchen. My friend's coming up. My friend's coming up to stay with me next week, finally. She's been meaning to get here for about a month and she's going to finally start staying here once a week. And I want the kitchen to be nice when she gets here. That's my beautiful friend, Desiree. All right. Oh, and Bible study group's going to start as on Monday. And they said, do you want to have it at your house? So not yet, not yet, I'm not ready. So I want to get ready for the ladies to come to my house for Bible study. Woohoo, yeah. Okay, lots of love. Bye-bye. See ya.